Hello, my dear students and my dear viewers. This is your friend Surendra. Today we are going to talk about the number system conversion in this video decimal into hexadecimal and hexadecimal into decimal number system conversion. So, with the simplest, sweet, and short methods. So, let's go through these methods, including definitions. So, definition says the decimal number system is the most commonly used and standard system which we use in our daily life and it uses the base 10 or radix 10 therefore its symbols it uses to represent any number 10 different digits that is 0 to 9 so in this way we can find another number is hexadecimal number so hexadecimal number also it's um uses it uses as base 16 or radix 16 as the symbols to represent is there are altogether 16 digits by using 16 different digits any quantitative information can be represented that is hexadecimal number system but in the problem in hexadecimal number system is that we uh, some we can find 0 to 9 are single digit number but after then then we can find two digit numbers like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are two digit numbers. So they make confusion whether they are as a single number or two different numbers. Like example 10. 10 whether it known as only single number as a 10 or it is 1 and 0. So to make a such a uh, confusion avoid such confusions so we must use some representative alphabet letters that is capital letter a b c d respectively to represent 10 to 15 different numbers like shown in here and um so now uh, it's time to conversion so let's go through these steps so please let's go through these steps here are all different steps what we can apply while converting so first step says divide the decimal numbers by 16 we must divide by 16 and we must calculate the remainder not in decimal number but like remainder so note down the remainder we got after the divisions repeat step 1 step 2 with that particular quotient what you get till the quotient becomes 0 that quotient also will be divided by 16 Till the question became zero so now step four now write the remainders in reverse order reverse order means bottom to top bottom to top the same way here let's we are going to find the result uh, the result is the equivalent hexadecimal number to the given decimal number but if there is number with two digits like 10 11 12 13 14 15 they must represent by using alphabet letters respectively like a b c d e f so let's uh, go through some example like decimal number is 7 we must divide by 16 like this and here quotient comes 0 so 7 16 0 that 0 remainder 7 so this remainder should be note down quotient is 0 so if quotient is 0 then we will stop we don't need to follow that uh, step 1 and 2 again to that particular quotient so remainder is 7 and that 7 is hexa itself so one more example so here a decimal 10 so this 10 will be divided by 16 and in this way 16 0 that 16 remainder is 10 so quotient is 0 again here so we don't need to repeat again that uh, and remainder is 10 that remainder 10 will be as a later a in hexa so one more example here decimal 10 the same way you can go with but it's represent as f in hexa so one more example decimal 10 so we must divide by 16 to this decimal 16 same 16 so 16 was the 16 remainder is 0 but quotient is here 1 so this quotient should be noted down and remainder also not be will be noted down so this remainder is uh, point out as a hexa number but 
but this quotient is here 1 so this quotient will be again divided by 16 so in this way we can divide this quotient again by 16 so 16 0 0 remainder is 1 this remainder 1 will be noted down so now see here remainder it's up like this so we must write in reverse form reverse form means zero means uh, bottom to top means 0 1 will be the hexadecimal number so in this way we can do so uh, if you have some concept here we are i'm going to give you some more example please pause this video and you can check you can calculate so that you can check with my answer so let's continue i'm going to divide this 45 decimal number by 16 so 16 to the 32 remainder is 13 but cosine is 2 again this 2 will be divided by 16 in this way so cosines come now 0 but remainder is 2 so now in reverse form again 2d so d is here representing two digit number that is 13 so 13 should be represented by using capital letter d so one more example you can pause again video and you can calculate the same way so here 110 is the decimal number that divide by 16 and quotient is 6 but remainder is 14 so that 14 remainder will be represent in hexa by later capital letter e and this quotient 6 will be again divided by 16 in this way and remainder here 6 but quotient is 0 so we must stop if quotient is 0 now it's a uh, time to convert decimal hexa into decimal number so hexa into decimal number here sorry for that here uh, technical errors here optical uh, sorry optical is written so hexa we are going to uh, uh, convert hexa number into decimal number so here in example one two three is the hexa decimal number and we are going to convert into decimal number so hexa so um first rule says write hexa decimal number separately in each different zone so each different zone in this way we can write them separately and then step two says multiply by hexadecimal place value so hexadecimal place value what is hexadecimal place value so place value is a base on 16 so power on 16 base 16 so power 0 power 1 power 2 in this way if there are more hexa number then it will increase like power 3 power 4 up to power n and their value is multiply to that particular individual hexa number so in this way so uh, 16 power 0 it values 1 because you know any number if its power is 0 that values always 1 so 16 power 1 it values 16 and 16 power 2 it values 256 16 into 16 256 and this will be multiplied to this individual hexadecimal number and what you will get that must be added together like uh, 256 1 the 256 16 to the 32 3 1 the 3 and you just add that total sum is the hexadecimal number so another method there is another method which you feel easy you can do that simple way the same hexadecimal number let's i'm going to show you here first uh, step says like write hexadecimal number in vertically as shown here we can uh, i will show you and step two says that start the calculating decimal values uh, is at first zero let's assume that that decimal value is zero as a starting multiply that uh, uh, multiply the calculated decimal value that is 0 by 16 and add that hexadecimal number separately there is the formula so you can go with this formula so new decimal number that d equal to that old decimal number that is 0 into 16 into hexa so hexa this must be here yes so this yes means hexadecimal number and continue uh, this formula calculating for the hexa decimal number so let's go with some example so here is the example that uh, the same example i have taken here one two three 
as a hexa into decimal number so here is d into 16 plus yes yes means the hexa number so like this all separate hexa number so let's uh, uh we are going to write this in vertical order like a one and then two and then three so this one two three are the hexa number and then here you can find zero into 16 this 16 means this formula and previous as uh, the first uh, decimal number is 0 so it's start from the 0 decimal number into 16 plus 1 1 this one is this one number only this hexa number is here added so it's a uh, total sum is total calculations is 1 so this one will be as a d as a d according to this formula so this d or decimal number will come and uh, in next formula so here this one will come in second here so this sum is multiplied by 16 plus 2 if you do then you will get 18 this 18 will be as a decimal number and multiply by 16 plus 3 is the hexa number here this 3 and if you add it will come the same it's a uh, wonderful so you can find the decimal number is the same here 291 here also 291 the, the decimal number so some more example let's uh if you have got some idea then please uh, pause your video and here i have given some example please go through this calculation your one and then you can check with my calculations so let's hex the number we must write them separately in separate zone like one b is 11 a is 10 and then d is 13 b a d so they must represent as different so we must multiply the place value of 16 so place value of 16 means 16 power 0 16 power 1 16 power 2 16 power 3 there are four different digits so it's increase up to three and let's continue with this solution so 16 power 1 means 16 16 power 2 256 16 power 3 means 4096 4096 so in this way we can multiply and you can add this all product in this way and you will get the decimal number okay it's wonderful so you can enjoy with this methods and another method one more example let's uh, try it uh, the here example you can find the different example so that we can find in different way so in this uh, example i have given like 9a0 9a0 we cannot use here o this is 0 not o so 9a0 so this again we are going to write them separate in with this formula so it's a really wonderful so 9 a means 10 and 0 itself so here is a decimal at uh, the first decimal d equal to 0 so here's d uh, this 0 will be multiplied by 16 and plus 9 this 9 is this hexa number so when we will solve this problem you will get 9 this answer this result should be multiplied by 16 here so 9 into 16 plus 10 this 10 is the hexa number itself and when you will solve this you can find the result 154 this 154 will be multiplied by 16 plus this 0 this 0 is the this day hexa number so again if you calculate then here you can find 2464 is the hexa sorry decimal number system so in this way you can calculate i hope you have enjoyed with this uh, video it's a wonderful so thanks for watching and please if you like subscribe uh, please uh, and share this video thank you thank you all of you